Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of the Binding of Isaac Reapers. We're gonna random here, and then we're gonna talk about some stuff about the last run, Eve. That's fine. So you may have mentioned, or you may remember me mentioning on the last episode. Let's take a look at our seed here: G N A one zero Y S D, and a convenient curse room right off the bat, and a very convenient item in it right off the bat as well. But you may remember in the last run, I was mentioning. I'm a little under the weather, that is still true. I was also drinking some coffee. Here's where Northern Lion's Cautionary Tale is going to come in. As soon as that episode finished, I stood up and I said, Whoa, I'm like super lightheaded. And I was talking to my wife and I was like, I'm like crazy lightheaded, like more lightheaded than I've ever been in my entire life. I've never passed out before, but I feel like this is what I would feel like moments before passing out. And she said, Oh, were you having like coffee? right after you had the cold medicine because you're sick? And I was like, yeah, you know? I, I mentioned that multiple times during the episode as well. You can go back and fact check that shit yourself. yourself. She's like, oh, you should never have coffee plus cold medicine. It's like really, really bad for you. Go look it up online. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, coffee and cold medicine is not that bad unless your cold medicine still has pseudoephedrine in it, like Sudafed does. And uh, uh, sure enough, I go look at the decongestant that I took, pseudoephedrine. Apparently taking pseudoephedrine which is basically just like a, what am I trying to think? It's like an analog for adrenaline, basically, which is my favorite REM album. Um, so basically, you're taking a stimulant in caffeine and then a stimulant in epinephrine, or uh, pseudoephedrine, sorry. Uh, and it heightens the effects of both of them, basically. So I heard someone call it like a trailer park speedball, kind of like a, I don't know. A, I'm, this is not me saying you should do this, by the way. This is me saying I felt terrible and am still suffering the ill effects of it. Um, so don't do that. It's really bad for you, and also, I don't feel good at all right now, but this is just, because everyone was like, man, how do you not know that? I'm trying to spread the knowledge, alright? I'm, I'm assuming that by bringing this up, I'm gonna have hundreds of people that are like, how did you not know you're not supposed to mix, like, over-the-counter cold medicine and coffee? I didn't mix them in the same cup, but, like, consume them in the same, uh, you know, relative interval. Um, but if, I, if even one person watches this and then goes, huh, I didn't know that you weren't supposed to do that, then my job here is done, you know? Learn from my stupidity. I didn't drink coffee until I was uh, a little bit older, and I never really took over-the-counter cold medicine until I needed to, you know, when you're in school, you might take, you know, some Sudafed or some NyQuil or something like that, but I gotta talk for a living, man. Like, I gotta d use decongestants. Anyway, so I'm still uh, in some respect suffering under the effects of this uh, I'm hoping that it doesn't lead to terrible Isaac play in a way I've got to admit I'm kind of hoping it leads to hilarious commentary but I, I feel good you know you don't have to worry or anything like that but man that was a, a real surprise when I stood up anyway last run no bombs here for us unfortunately I guess what I'm trying to say is forgive any uh, mistakes that I make in this episode that might seem ridiculous even for me um, not enough money to buy a bomb either. Unless we get lucky here, but uh, last episode, pretty much like eh, too good to even mention, really. Triple shot, brimstone, hive mind, guppy, it, you know, death's touch. It just got ridiculous by the end of it. Look, I don't want to bomb that badly. Like, I would really like to be able to get to five cents, be able to get more spirit hearts or maybe even small rock, but I'm not going to sit here and shoot all this poop. And of course, by I'm not going to sit here and shoot all this poop. What I mean is, I'm going to talk about how I'm not going to shoot this poop, thus distracting both of us from the fact that I'm actually going to shoot this poop and really hope that it pays out with a couple of more cents here. And now at this point, we're... Oh! Well, that means we got to shoot the fly poop. Hopefully we get the penny. We do not. Hopefully we get uh, either... Well, hopefully we get magic mushroom. But if we don't get magic mushroom torn photo, hopefully we get, like, uh... Matchbook? Get some bombs? Pageant boy, buy some bombs. At this point, you know, I, I'm building up this tinted rock more than it could possibly deliver. You know, I'm, I'm guaranteed to be disappointed. That's all right. Well, it, I probably should not have picked that up. I'm going to go through uh, a little bit of effort here to try to... Try to get five cents. So I can spawn an arcade. Maybe there's some fires that I missed. If I don't spawn an arcade, it's going to be very difficult for me to get into the Horror Babylon state on the next floor. But the only way we're going to be able to do it is to go into the shop and then shoot the fire. And that's going to cost us a key. Maybe there will be a bomb for three cents. There's a key for three cents. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I blew it. Um, if there was a bomb for three cents, we could have blown up our donation machine in the man in the middle and probably made it work, but oh well. 
down to the next floor, I ruined Horror of Babylon, but we did get nine lives, and we have more HP to, you know, trade in for a deal with the devil here. All right, deep breaths, Northern Lion. You know, you can tell I'm not 100% of sound mind right now because I just called myself by my internet alias, which is... <laughs> You know, I, I'm having dental surgery. I'm not trying to hype this up like it's the most incredible surgery anyone's ever had. Or, oh my god, I hope I'm going to be okay. I mean, I hope I'm going to be okay, but I'm not worried about it. But people were like, man, you should really, like, film yourself on anesthetic after the... You know, you should do your own, like, David after the dentist thing. I'm like, nah, man. I don't have a lot going for me in the, in the you know, positives department of my life. Being in control of my own communication and my, you know, my thoughts is one of them. That's why it's something like Alzheimer's scares the shit out of me, man. You know, the forgetting who you are, losing all your memories and, and stuff like that. That's just terrifying. I don't mean to bring everybody down, but that's what anesthetic is like for me. I'm like, don't feel me under anesthetic. That's like a, a terrible glimpse into what might be my future, but hopefully not. And hopefully not any of yours as well. But statistically, some of us, you know. Unless we, I, apparently... The cure for Alzheimer's, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I heard it on Reddit that the cure for Alzheimer's is within reach, within perhaps our lifespan, which might not mean that we benefit from it, but hey man, as a species, that's great news. Anyway, long story short, Sudafed, man, don't do it. What a, what a ridiculous over-the-counter drug. You can accidentally... Basically, well, I don't want to say get high on it, because this <laughs> it sounds like I'm encouraging it. You can alter your mental state by accidentally drinking it, or uh, having Sudafed and coffee, man. It's like the third most commonly consumed beverage in the world. I will admit that upon saying that, I'm like, how did I not know that they have those interactions with one another? But I don't know what to say. And then there's a, you know, you, you can buy Sudafed and apparently turn it into meth. Isn't that what they, they pick up? from the, the, the drugstore and then turn into methamphetamine? Could I possibly... Is that how they make illicit narcotics? They turn it into methamphetamine? No! Not methamphetamine. I don't, I don't know anything about the drug world, to be honest with you. So I'll just describe it in the, the squarest terms I know how. Anyway, Sudafed, you know, you got some serious lobbying dollars or something like that, man. GlaxoSmithKline. Trying to get that shit, uh you know, sold over the counter when you should have to have a license to be able to take this cold medicine. Apparently it causes high blood pressure, dizziness, weakness, and possibly even heart problems. Yo, I mean, I guess, okay, by the time you're probably old enough that those things are going to affect you in a really negative way, you probably should have learned not to take uh, Sudafed with coffee, but at the same time, it's pretty scary, man. I feel like the, like the warning is in the smallest font. There is a, a, like a picture of sunshine on the side of the box that is larger than the instructions not to take it with caffeine. I still blame myself, but at the same time, I'm a little bit like, come on, work with me here. We have to take something here to get back into the Horror of Babylon state. We will take contract from below. Uh, no HP ups, please. No HP ups. Speed up, that's fine. Puberty, that's fine. Okay, now we're in a pretty good state here. Um, we're done with this floor as well, unless we want to buy something from the shop, but I don't really think that we want to. We'll just blow you up and hope for magic mushroom. Uh, we got three cents out of it. Uh, it's alright. I think we head down to the next floor. What was in? It was the poop. Eh, I mean, what do we care? You know, we got the poop, we got uh, Anarchist Cookbook, it's all the same to me. They're both not very good. We're a little bit behind schedule, it doesn't surprise me. I, I'm not really concerning myself with the idea of boss rush at all in this run. Just hoping to skate through a random run in a little bit of an altered state of consciousness and then, uh, you know, come back out in the Eden run. A little bit clearer head. But the show must go on, man! Gotta make a backlog for when I'm actually under the, uh, influence of genuine medical anesthesia. Having my wisdom teeth pulled out. People always try to freak me out about getting my wisdom teeth pulled out. Something I should have had done. People are like, you haven't had your wisdom teeth pulled out yet? What are you, like, 16? No, it's not meant as an insult to 16-year-olds, by the way. Enjoy your youth, man. It... Ah, I am alive. Okay. That's all right. We got a health up, but we didn't fill it, so it's okay. Uh, and now we know that it's in the rotation. But anyway, what my story with my wisdom teeth is actually that my dentist was a scumbag. I'm not sure if he was a scumbag or he was just lazy. 
But when I was in university and paid like $60 a year for like having a dental plan, which you don't realize until you get older, is an incredible price. He was like, nah, man, you don't need to, why bother getting your wisdom teeth taken out? They're coming in, but they, you should only get them taken out if they're going to give you trouble. And then as soon as my university's like medical plan was over because I graduated, he was like, oh, these are looking like they're going to cause you trouble. We should have those taken out as a preemptive measure. So basically... Uh, by the way, in case you're, you don't want to see that scumbag, you know, financially remunerated. I am getting my wisdom teeth taken out at a different dentist across the country. But anyway, across the country, not from where I live now, but from where I live then. So basically, long story short, I probably should have met him out when I was like 17. My dentist was a, a real jerk about the whole thing. But I'm not worried about uh, a surgery. You can't freak me out about surgery, man. I know some people are like, what if you go under the anesthesia and never wake up? It does happen. You know, it, it's the kind of thing that does happen. I have my own irrational fears. I was super scared of flying for a long time. Let's try this out. Surgery, just for whatever reason. I'm just, I'm, I'm very laid back. You know, I'm actually kind of... <laughs> it, let me preface this, because the first is going to sound like I'm being an asshole. Let me preface this by saying that, you know, sometimes when I used to fly, I would think about it for like a week in advance. I'd be like, oh shit, better make the most of my last week on planet Earth, because there's a 50% chance my plane's going to crash. So I, I understand anxiety. But for whatever reason, man, medical stuff, surgery, right now I'm like, well, I mean, the surgery's gonna suck. They're gonna be, like, sawing into my jaw, taking some teeth out. But I'm gonna get, like, a couple of days off to just hang out in bed and watch some movies or, you know, read. That's gonna be kind of nice. I, I, and it's in that moment I've realized that I've become a 75-year-old man. But in any case, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to the surgery, but I'm looking forward to... You know, hopefully having no complications and uh, getting to convalesce for a little bit. Force convalescence, because otherwise I just, you, you can't make me convalesce. I want to teach you two things over the course of this video. One is, don't mix Sudafed and coffee. The other one is, convalesce is a word which means to, uh, to heal. You know, to get better. To recover. It's a good one. Convalescence is a good word. Um... I'm trying to think of the other one. There's, there's like two words that you can use all the time. They don't make you sound like too much of a scumbag trying to like brag about your, I don't know, your diction or something. Well, I did not mean to pick that up, but I was waiting to see what I was going to do about spoon, wooden spoon, and I fudged it a little bit there. Um, I've forgotten the other one. It exists though, I promise you. Okay. Clandestine, that's the other one. Instead of saying secretive, man, Try to say clandestine. It just adds a little certain... Oh, come on, come on. Dang it. Adds a certain je ne sais quoi to your uh, sentence. Anyway. We gotta take these guys out. Thank God for rotten, baby. You gotta pop up, dude. I gotta... You, you're, you're my escape route. Ah, oh, shit. I did get hit there. Hey, dead bird. Your time to shine. Shine bright like a dead bird. Seriously, though. Like, this room is really pissing me off right now. I'm in no mood to deal with these shenanigans right now. We should have primed uh, Rotten Baby to actually have a fly ready. Yeah, we'll do that now. There we go. Okay, we got two cents for our troubles there. And we still only have three dang cents. And I'm starting to lose some HP here, which is not good. Three cents is not where we need to be. We need to be at five cents, because now I need to get a... Uh, oh my god. I need to get a uh, an arcade to get back into the Horde Babylon State because I'm an idiot and picked up HP. We can do that by going to our shop, which is something I guess I'll probably do. We only have one bomb, so I don't see uh, I don't see the secret room as being particularly likely for us. We could do the mob trap room. We'll do the monster mob. No mob trap room. Uh, we'll try it here. But usually, if you use Anarchist Cookbook on a room like this, all the bombs cluster around the middle. We actually got kind of lucky, uh, and and they did not there. Well, at least one of them got out of the way. Uh, yeah. I don't think Battery Anarchist Cookbook really, you know, does much for us here. Are you kidding me? We got exactly two cents? Could you have made it any, like, trickier on us? Uh, and we have no bombs left, so we can't get those. Alright, uh... You know, what can I say? It's still a, a pretty decent setup here. We got one guppy item. We got Rotten Baby, we got Contract from Below. We're out of the Whore of Babylon state, which is entirely my own idiocy, but so be it. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to find an arcade here. If not, uh, then it's really in our best interest to keep a deal with the devil hope alive. Because taking one deal... 
Especially if it's something that also gives us spirit hearts, maybe like a ceremonial robes or something like that would be huge. Or a Guppy's Paw, for that matter, would also... Guppy's Paw, would, this would be one of the ideal situations in which to have Guppy's Paw. Because we don't have a better spacebar item. We could afford to hold it and kind of use it almost like I use the IV bag as Eve. Also, the IV bag as Eve would be awesome. <laughs> it's crazy that IV bag... I, I think it's easy to distill why IV bag is more useful now. Oh, okay, we're still good, we're still good. IV bag is more useful than it used to be. Because it really is, like, integral, or at least very helpful, for two characters. Samson and Eve, it makes their lives so much easier. It integrates uh, easily with both of their um, class abilities. I don't know what you want to call them. Horror of Babylon and Bloody Lust. This is a very uh, important floor for us at this point. We probably could have just used one bomb there. I knew how to do that at one point and have forgotten it. Push it out in favor of more, uh, you know, useful information in my brain. Like, for example, don't take Sudafed and coffee. I feel weird saying Sudafed and coffee, because it wasn't like I, I was pouring the cough medicine in the coffee. That is indicative of a problem. This is an accident, man. It wasn't like I made a fucking, like, you know, vodka Red Bull or something like that. I was an adult who had to get some work done, and then I, I made a mistake, alright? It happens. I thought this was Canada. We can have legalized, uh, or legalized PCP here, but you can't take Sudafed and coffee accidentally. PCP is not legal here. Marijuana is not even legal here, so, you know, don't get your hopes up. I just don't want you to be crossing the border and be like, well, I heard some asshole on the internet say PCP was legal. What, I can't bring my PCP into Canada? No, you can't. I, unless it's medicinal PCP. In which case, what the fuck do you have? But... You know, you, you, uh, you're gonna be on the TV show Border Police if that happens. You're, you're pretty gonna be very unhappy with me probably when it gets confiscated and you get thrown in Canadian jail. I mean, Canadian jail, it might not be as bad as American jail, but it's, it, you know, it's no Norwegian jail. You're not gonna be like playing PlayStation 4 all the time with your buddies. I don't know, maybe it is. I've never been to Canadian jail. Don't want to be a Canadian prisoner. Despite our reputation for politeness. Anyway. I gotta be, this is a situation we found ourselves in very commonly lately. I have to beat the dark one without taking damage. Which means I will definitely stay the hell away from, uh, from using Anarchist Cookbook here. Our knockback is such that I actually can shoot while he's coming at me here, and it's not that dangerous. Not Krampus, please. I ask for Krampus sometimes. This is when I do not want Krampus. We didn't get any deal with the devil at all, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, old bandage is fine for us in this situation. This run is starting to look a little scary, though. If we don't find a way to get down into our Horror of Babylon state reliably pretty soon, it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be me. Very lucky that we got an escape route there. Um, you know what? This might be a good room to use Anarchist Cookbook. There's a non-insignificant chance of a crawl space. We made it out alive. I guess that's all I can really say. And uh, there is uh, an arcade here, which is lovely. That is going to be tricky. Yeah, I mean, the Demon Judgment does beat the, uh, the blood bank for usefulness for us here. What do you got for me? We got to be careful, though. Walk out, walk back in. Why do this? Because it makes it much easier to get into the uh, double payout area. Now, we'll get you to do this. You know what? We actually probably could have made a good case for using the blood bank to try to get IV bag. But let's see what happens here. So that's HP. Now, at this point, I think we might as well go for broke because we have already gone for this guy. Thank you for not paying out there, by the way. I really appreciate Oh, it, it doesn't matter because we would have many opportunities to make it work anyway. Via these blood banks. Okay, we got a Hermit card, Pheromones. I think we gotta go Pheromones for now. We're gonna sacrifice... Uh, let's start spending some keys here. This might seem like, you know, I, I don't like key beggars any more than anybody else, but uh, I think we've gotta do everything in our power to get this working. Like, our run is predicated upon making this Horror of Babylon state actually work for us, so I, uh, I don't mind doing it this way. And if we have to spend all our keys, all our bombs, so be it. Throw another Temperance card down there. Um, start playing this guy again. Why not pick up the Red Heart? You raise a good point. 
I guess I'm a little nervous that it'll backfire, but I don't think that's relatively even possible. So this is what I'm looking for is a Spirit Heart here. It cost us a lot to get to it, but I'm glad we finally got it. And then that was very dumb of me. I should have played him twice, but it doesn't matter because he paid out anyway. Um, not with what I wanted, but he would have uh, not taken another play anyways. This is, I, I, I botched that a little bit, I'll admit. I'm going to try this here. But I still think that we're making a good decision here. Now, we don't have to fight these enemies if we don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, we'll, we'll teleport out. We're not going to do boss rush anyway. I really can't stress enough that I feel like this is, this is our puzzle box. This is where we will determine whether or not we win this run. It might be so much better to play these blood banks now. Because we can play two of them for the price of one. Come on, though, dude. It's getting a little ridiculous here. Puberty. Pheromones. And that was a Hagalaz rune. Um, okay, well, this is a great opportunity to use pheromones. Uh, let's not die. We do have nine lives. And effectively, I don't even want the HP that I have right now. So I guess I don't really mind if I die. It's not the end of the world. But it's better to have this HP and, and turn it into something like a, a deal with the devil than it is to just throw it away. But we got to get HP back. And I don't know how exactly we're going to do that. We just need red hearts to drop. That's two puberty pills, I think. This is a dangerous room for me. Very nice of them to all cluster together on one side for now. It makes my dodging life substantially easier. There we go. Uh, two of those is going to be very important. <sighs> it's an interesting balance we've got going on here now. Um, I'm going to try to find the secret room. I think it's going to be on the bottom here. Oh my god, where the... Heck is our seat. Well, we got more rooms to go on this side, I guess. Maybe it's up there. Very weird one. It's not just me, right? Another key beggar. We'll blow these guys up. Magic mushroom would be amazing here. Obviously. More HP. Um, okay, let's let's go explore here. Good stuff. Uh, we got enough bombs that I'm I'm gonna go. Oh, jeez, that was dangerous. Uh, I'm going to go for Broke on Magic Mush here. That helps out a lot. Bad gas? Man, okay. Well, I still want to go for this. Okay, that is huge. Um, how do we do this now? I think we blow up the Key Beggar first. Then we blow up one Blood Bank. That spirit heart is exactly what I need. Then we come back here and we play you and Old Bandage saves the day. Thank you very much for that. Finally, you've paid out. I'll take experimental treatment. It, it won't give me the heart container. It'll just give me the heart. I don't know if we're better or worse. I always take it now just to fuck with it. Um, while we have the HP to do this, let's go down and get Cricket's head. Now, we're going to start trying... Ah, oh, I've... Watch that miserably, but we got IV bag out of it anyway. So this is huge for us. Might as well try to get blood bag to pay out to see if we get the HP. We did not, and that's fine. Now we have IV bag, so we can permanently stay in this state. That's a Hagalaz rune, recall. So this, it was a strange system, and my brain is still feeling a little fuzzy. This is how you can tell I'm a party animal. I had half a cup of coffee and two over-the-counter decongestants, and I feel like I'm fucking Charlie Sheen. But I think we, we kept our head screwed on straight and actually accomplished something pretty good there. The IV bag is going to be great for us in the future. Um, we got Cricket's head. We are actually still doing fine on consumables. I think we've got a, we got a win ahead of us here. And as long as we don't take red hard damage on this floor, we should have a guaranteed deal with the devil. Because we haven't had one in two or three floors. And we do have nine lives, so the guppy dream definitely exists. Old Bandage, you're really, like, helping me out here. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, we didn't have to, you know, quintuple down on that necessarily, but why not? I think we're better off having the Horror of Babylon state. Being in the Horror of Babylon state is going to be our best defensive choice, honestly, because we're going to take so much less damage because we're going to be killing enemies much faster. Uh, we got him to go over the spikes. I don't think he took as much damage as I would have liked, necessarily. There we go. Easy finish there. 
Some oh, no, that's all right. Just a little reminder on my computer there. Um, the reminder says, "Don't take Sudafed and coffee, you idiot." Anyway, the um, some Eden runs are kind of handed to you on a silver platter. Some Eden runs you got to work for. Uh, this this is somewhere in the middle. Not a gimme. But uh, certainly the elements of a successful Eden run have existed on this run. We're far from uh, finished with it yet. We've only had one deal with the devil. But so far I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with my performance. I'm pleased with the RNG that the game's given us. Even if we did have Anarchist Cookbook until the deaths. And our only you know viable option to replace it was the poop. Until we got IV bag. But that arcade, man. Sometimes uh, people question how valuable arcade meta is. And I don't think they're wrong to question it. You know, a healthy degree of skepticism is usually a good thing. Maybe always a good thing. Um, but uh, in this situation, it's really worked out for us. Long term, I don't know. You have to crunch the data on that one and get back to me. Short term, it's been huge. Now, we really are up against it here on our spirit heart, though. Can't afford to get hit. I thought about re-rolling it, and then I thought, why am I thinking about re-rolling it? I have the IV bag. So we're going to take it. This is steps one, right? At least I got a second crack at making sure I didn't accidentally fuck it up completely. Um, we're going to take it, and, you know, the good news is we can use it with IV bag. So we're not going to put ourselves out of the Horde Babylon state. The bad thing, of course, is that it's not that good. And what do we want Red Hearts for anyway? But it's, uh, it's fine. I really do not like fighting the cage, but luckily he's looking like he's going to die pretty soon. And if he does that attack that's really hard to dodge, the one where he jumps up and then slams down, that one right there. Yeah, we if we get hit by it once, we're fine. So we got meat, which we will take, and then we'll see what we got. No Krampus, please. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. Lump of coal would be very nice here. We can't afford to take uh, Krampus' head, which has been showing up like crazy lately. Doesn't mean it's more or less likely to show up now, but it, it, it did. <laughs> so again, another floor where we didn't necessarily pick up that, you know, be-all, end-all item. That's okay. We're piecing together a, a solid run here. Certainly needs a little bit more to take it to the absolute next level, but maybe we'll find that on a shop. We definitely have the money necessary to make good use of it. And we'll continue to do so for the rest of the whole game because of our IV bag interactions. What else do we have? Compass? Fantastic. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to buy the heart. We'll buy a key. We'll buy the spirit heart. And then um, we do still have one more floor. I figured we'd try to make our donation machine work. Uh, I think we just go, honestly. I don't think we gain much from staying. This might be our secret room, so I will try to find that. And it was. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we're just out of here. It's weird, uh, I feel comfortable in this run, but I shouldn't. Our HP is not that good, and we have to keep it actively low. We don't have any way to generate our own spirit hearts, which would help us keep our HP actively low, with some confidence. There's not much point in getting a, a blood bag. Like, if that's our best case scenario there, what do we care? Hmm. But, my damage is acceptable. And at some point, they've got to give me a deal with the devil. I guess that's what it comes down to. <laughs> at some point, they can't keep fucking me like this. Two of clubs. I'll just pop it right away. And we'll use this justice card. Hoping for a spirit heart, but shit happens. Can't really afford to go to that curse room yet. We gotta... As much as I hate to admit it, we gotta keep our uh, deal with the devil chances alive. And that means that the curse room is gonna be very difficult to go to until... Well, this is interesting. I guess we might as well take both of these, but uh, the Curse Room is going to be very difficult to go to until we get uh, another Spirit Heart, which I'm choosing to remain optimistic that it will happen at some point. Why take the HP? Because we still have IV Bag. Why not take the HP? It gives us more to more fodder for trading for deals with the Devil, if we ever get one that we can actually uh, benefit from here. Alright. It's a good setup. This is my my basic ideal setup for an Eve run. We're just not quite at the you know the tipping point here, and obviously things get much more difficult on the next floor when enemies are harder and start doing more damage. 
I don't think there's anything we really want here. That's a puberty pill. I'll buy the key because we have money. And I'd, like this should turn a profit for us. <laughs> it turned a nice profit for us. I'm not sure if we really care though. All right, we got to go the other way for sure. Uh, it's possible we can get into the secret room and then go into our cursed room that way, but I'd say it's probably unlikely. I'm thinking maybe we just say fuck it and go to the cursed room, but I need, I, I would really like one more black card before we seal the deal on that, you know? I heard a uh, tarot card. That's bullshit, I did not hear a tarot card. Regular judgment. Uh, it's, oh, the fire! I walked into the fire, that's so embarrassing. Um, I think, I mean, the IV bag teleportation might be funny, but I don't know how we really use Doctor's Remote effectively here. The Dry Baby pickup is stellar. Um, I think we just blow up this judgment. As important as his item payout might be, it would probably just be HP. And we need uh, not HP. We need a better deal with the Devil Chance. So if we can even blow up like another beggar, that would be great for us as well. Joker card helps out a lot as well. Headless Baby's okay. We're having to use all the, the very limited tricks in my toolbox to make this one viable right now, though. Really, really hoping for a deal with the devil on this floor. Gotta keep ourselves in that horror Babylon state. Money equals power, also a great pickup. Midas touch, we could we could try to finagle something that would work there. This is I've gotta say right now, maybe this is the the Starbucks of Fed talking right now, but this is one of my favorite runs recently because it hasn't been handed. You know, it, it hasn't been like the a run where you just picked up Brimstone super early and, and won the day. Instead, it's gonna be one where we're gonna have to be uh, like really smart about the way that we handle this. And, you know, winning and losing can change in a room or two. I really like that. So we're up to 36 bombs now. Wheel of Fortune will just blow up after playing it once. Uh, we should have played it more to try to get Spirit Hearts, but you know, laziness still wins out in the end for me a lot of the time. I want to do more exploring because I, like, I don't know if we can beat Mom. I don't know if it's likely that we'll beat Mom on one HP plus a half red heart. You know, like, that's where we'd be if I went to the Cursed Room. And I do want to go to the Cursed Room. Like, I think that's, especially considering our guppy aspirations here, I think that's a smart idea. That's two more puberty pills. Um, but it's just not... I mean, now it's a little bit more viable, but... We don't need to be at a half red heart. We could be at a full red heart. That is true. Dark Bum would be an amazing pickup for us here. It's always an amazing pickup, but, you know, Eve runs in particular. You can understand why. It's going to be probably a little bit of a long one as well. I've, I, now that I'm using OBS, I have no means of seeing, at least to the best of my knowledge, how big the file size is right now, so I can't judge. But I think we're getting up there, man. At this point, we don't need to keep doing this IV bag stuff because we're going to be at the money cap. Come on, one more spirit heart on this room would really make my life easier. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna go to the curse room. I wonder, let's try something that might accidentally get me killed. I wanna go pick up like another red heart. There's another half red heart or something. Oh, we can't get to it though, yeah. Um, all right, I'll tell you what, let's blow this up. We got a red heart out of it. This is perfect. Here's my thinking. Use IV bag as you walk in, and then it won't take the spirit heart, because you'll already have taken damage on the red heart. And it puts us in the Horror of Babylon state anyway, we might even get a little money out of it. Obviously, this curse room didn't end up really uh, doing what I wanted it to do, but that was one of the smartest decisions I've made in, in Rebirth in quite some time. <laughs> All right, I should try this more often. So we got this Joker card that we'll use at our first opportunity. I mean, we could do that again and go get that half red heart over there, but then we're just getting we're getting silly about it. Got to focus a little bit here. 
there's a chance we could die. I shouldn't, but there's always a chance. I actually kind of hate that uh, we picked up Headless Baby so late. It doesn't follow us very closely because it's so far back in the line. So I, it's hard to put, like, actively put creep down somewhere. No orbitals means that I can't just walk into mom when she, well, I can walk into her, but it doesn't do anything when she falls. This is actually going very well, very, very well right now. Good stuff. Almost done. I really want that deal with the devil here. We didn't get it. Okay, so now what's important? Well, let's check this out. We got to put ourselves in that half heart interval. Full heart is good. Up to the uh, womb. But now the half heart is going to give us that invincibility that might be even more important. Now we'll take the Polaroid and we'll Joker because we didn't get anything here. And we got another guppy item. And I think at this point, uh, we say, like, we're never going to want to use red hearts. So we'll take this. And IV bag has been amazing for us. We'll take this in case we get more uh, red hearts in the future. And then we can turn them into spirit hearts. I think this is the right call. Now we're only one guppy item away as well. A lot of potential pitfalls on this run. Kind of want to do this, but I want to stand in it. You know what? <laughs> I wanted to see if maybe we can get like a crawl space. But that seemed like it was probably going to backfire on me. So how's the run looking? Very, very interesting. Wow. That was unexpected. A lot of spirit hearts there. Uh, why am I bothering to pick up the money? Uh, it's a very, very interesting run. We're in the Horror Babylon state. We got decent damage. Good orbital friends with us. Nine lives and a great chance to become Guppy. Should go without saying, if we become Guppy, it's over. As is right now, I think we're probably ahead of where we need to be. Um, which is great. But it, that can change pretty quickly. We can definitely go to the Cursed Room, obviously. Like... We have so many extra spirit hearts on this floor already. This is the most spirit hearts on a floor I think I've been unable to use in a long time. We got 39 bombs as well. That's kind of an unsung thing to talk about, but it can be very valuable for us. And this curse room is coming up on our left here. Four of these guys left. And again, why not use, uh, use those offensively? All right, curse room sucked. This floor is important as well. There's been a lot of important floors. This one is important for different reasons. It's our last opportunity for a deal with the devil. And if we don't get one, that's disappointing. Don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> Luckily, we had enough spirit arts back there that uh, I don't have to worry about it too much. All right. Straight up and ahead here. No Dark Bomb yet, and at this point, you know, a Dark Bomb pickup would still be good. But I kind of want uh, more offensive items. I don't really have a choice in the matter. But if I did have a choice in the matter, I would choose more offensive items. But I think we seem relatively comfortable right now. The Dry Baby pickup's helping a lot on Bullet Hell type... Ah, it's so bad. Uh, on Bullet Hell type bosses, it'll be nice. Let's see. I don't want to go back for the Spirit Art just yet, just in case we get HP here anyway. So the Fallen is the next best thing to a deal with the Devil, obviously. And it's actually a really easy boss fight considering we're on the Womb 1. So it's really the best of both worlds here, and maybe a deal with the Devil after it anyway? Yes, okay, Gimpy. Gimpy's okay, the Shovel sucks. Okay, that's, that's disappointing. I'm not going to go back for the other Spirit Art. I'm lazy. Sue me. We got another good defensive item. Uh... Well, a decent defensive item in Gimpy. No Guppy Dream. So it looks like Rotten Baby. It's just going to be you and me for now. And Dry Baby, of course. I didn't mean to diminish the role of Dry Baby in our performance right now. Could always find a red chest on the Cursed Room or on this Boss Trap Room. But I think it's going to be just us until the, uh, until the chest. And that's fine, man. I feel like this run has been a good test. Good test of, like, Isaac mechanics. Well, Eve mechanics, I guess, more specifically. I'm happy with it. I feel like this has sharpened me up. Even if I end up losing on this run, I feel like I will be better as a result of having done it. Come on. Even if I, I did do something suboptimally, I'll be the first to admit that. Extra spirit heart. Awesome. Let's take an opportunity to look for magic mush. No such luck. That's okay. And uh, inside of our curse room, a bunch of spiders again. Disappointing. 
two bombs. Uh, this, I'm assuming, has to be the way to our boss fight, but it might be to the right and then up and around. Mmm, dice room. Scary. A little scary. I got enough keys, though, and we have to do the room that's, well, the room that's pretty much adjacent to it anyway, so... Let's give it a shot. Again, we keep getting these Womb 2 dice rooms, man. So, really the only rooms that make any sense to use here are like 1 and 6. 5 is bad, because we just do this floor again and maybe get another curse room, but like... That's a pretty fringe benefit, I think, for doing the whole floor again. Have to fight Double Gertie Jr. just for the privilege of getting in here, that's quite a tall order. What was the, uh, well, the, uh, most of the other ones just reroll consumables. Many of the other ones just reroll consumables, I guess I should say. This one's, a, it's a two room again, so we'll open that. Death card, Emperor card. We'll save the Emperor card, reroll everything else. Sun card. Use that to see where we're going. Again, we could have used it as a death card. Doesn't matter too, too much. Bad trip pill pissing me off, but, you know, we're, we're, two, we're two HP down, that's not that bad. Then we'll Emperor card on the Cathedral. So again, this is the point of the game where things start to move very quickly. We'll use two keys here. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head. I like how I said I had no way of seeing how, how long the run had gone on for earlier, and then I just hit tab, and I was like, you know what? Maybe there's some, if only there was some internal method in the game to test how long it's been running. Speed up. Yeah, we can take two of those. And call me in the morning. Hello, Kate. How's it going? Yeah, your room is still not sound like now. Yeah, we the air conditioning actually functions, which is nice. How's it going? How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, still pretty lightheaded, but you know I'm having a pretty good eve run here, so obviously my mental faculties aren't that compromised. I guess. That's okay. I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out, which is nice. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yell if you want to I don't think I'll be able to yell, but if if you don't hear me talking in here in like 15 minutes, you should come in and check on me. Okay. I might just be on Twitter though, so it's fine either way. Okay. Thank you. Mom's hard fight going very very well so far. Um, you know we can pretty much just stand behind Dry Baby. I actually I know I mentioned it earlier in the run, but I kind of forgot about it just then and. Uh, now I will take the opportunity to do that. Why did I pick up that Eternal Heart, by the way? Of course, we got Guppy's Paw. That's why we held Guppy's Paw. Guppy's Paw is the IV bag for heart containers. It's a sentence that doesn't really make any sense. We try not to worry about it too much. Um, oh, we're invincible. Let's get up in there. So we're not going to quite be at full HP, but we're going to be pretty close. And then it's all going to come down to the, you know, how much HP I can save during the Isaac fight. Yeah, we're one away. How much HP I can save during the Isaac fight, and then, uh, it's all about the items in the chest. For now, though, relatively happy. What we should do on this one... Well, we got two choices. Put ourselves behind Dry Baby, which is the choice I'm gonna go with, or get close enough that, uh, Rotten Baby can actually hit with its flies, but actually, that seems to be working out just fine right now anyway. Gotta watch out for those, uh, those jerk holes there. I did take some dumb damage in there. But that will aggro the bird foot, and now we're on to the next phase of the fight. Not bad at all. So basically, we want to... Oh, that was so bad. We want to go where we want Rotten Baby to go. Sorry, Dry Baby to go later. You know what? Fuck that. I'm just going to focus on dodging. <laughs> Getting these high-minded ideals about how I should you know, fight Isaac. How about this? Isaac shoots in a very specific pattern. You, uh... Dodge the shots that he shoots out while shooting him with some of your own and don't take as much damage as you probably would if you would Be sticking with this bullshit ideal of trying to maximize the number of times the dry baby fires Like our damage is not amazing, but it's not bad enough that I need to worry about using dry baby as our exclusive source of damage We got hit twice. That's uh, it could be worse. I can't be too salty about it I will be a little salty if we don't get good items here, but let's find out how this is gonna go curse of the unknown What do you say here? Like, uh, good enough, right? Chemical peel's okay. Little brimstone's great. Dead onion is going to at least give us piercing shots. Mom's bottle of pills gives us... Balls of steel. Fantastic. <laughs> A little nervous at first, then it, uh, it all worked out in the end. Okay. It's gonna be tricky down here. I still don't think we have a... Uh, 
a super win or one run, but we got a chance at it. Really what it comes down to at this point is taking as little, I thought that was a dead end, taking as little damage as possible. I mean, every Isaac run is about that, whether directly or indirectly. I'm actually going to, might annoy some people, I'm going to turn down the music just a little bit there. Got to hear myself think. I know I could adjust my own volume, but I think that that's, you know, I, I'm getting basically over paranoid because I'm, I'm using a new recording software that it's going to be far too loud and overpowering me, but it might not. If we win this run, I will be very proud. This is not, a, you know, a, a miracle. It's not turning a, a completely lost run into a win. But it is, a, it was not an easy one. And we had, we had to learn some new techniques in the in the process that, you know, it, it was like a... It was like a test, basically. It was like an exam. We learned all this stuff in our courses, and now we're uh, finally putting it to the test here. And I think we, we did a, an admirable job. Wouldn't mind getting, uh, you know, perhaps like a uh, freaking payout of any chest of any sort. But I guess, you know, four good items, I can't really complain. Yo, here's something I will complain about. Little Brimstone is so far back in our familiar order that it's like almost impossible to get it to shoot in the same direction I'm shooting in. In the same region I'm shooting in, the same latitude. It's got a latitude problem. Does Dead Bird pick up? Or not Dead Bird, sorry, Dead Onion. Totally different kingdoms. Uh, it's working out fine. Where the heck is that? Uh, that boss room must be like up and to the right. That is a long way to go. Why not take the pills? You have a good point. Why not take the pills? But I'm not going to take the pills. The reason why not is not a good reason, though. It's because I don't want to forget, if I pick up HP, that I have Guppy's Paw to use. I can understand not feeling like that's that big of a deal. But I haven't been super thrilled with our pill rotation. Balls of Steel might help out, of course. Lots of puberty, though. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. Now, this is going to be, I don't want to say the, the moment or the room of truth or whatever, but it's going to be a long-ass fight, probably. Thank you, Gimpy, for basically making that uh, not damaging at all. I appreciate that a great deal. Now, it would be awesome if we could actually get into a position where I could hit both of you at the same time. Maybe it's actually a good thing that little Brimstone's not on the same vector as I am. Yeah, I stood pretty much right in the way of that, but Gimpy hooked me up. Um... Because Little Brimstone is actually able to hit the uh, the enemies that I'm not. Like that one right there, for example. Okay, two chests. Robo Baby 2.0. Rubber Cement will be interesting. Robo Baby 2.0 sucks pretty bad, but I don't think there's a downside to taking it. And it's looking like this will be a win. Might have been looking like that for a while, but I've been somewhat conservative, I guess, in my in my prediction. Were we hitting, like, the shit out of that guy with little brimstone or something? I didn't think I hit him at all, and then I hit him twice and he died. Okay, more money, more HP I can use. This should be a relatively easy room. Lots of shit on the screen now, though. Most of it, you know, belongs to me, but... Kinda hard to tell where I'm standing here. Please, 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 a spirit... Not a spirit heart, sorry, a tarot card. A tarot card. We got one. High Priestess. It's good. It's it's actually really good. I do sort of hate that it's going to take us through a big room on our way to the boss here, but that's, you know, somewhat normal. No more chests there, and this is our last one. It's just a, you know, septuple greed fight. That's actually not that bad, in spite of my perceived sarcasm. Could be worse. Definitely not worth using High Priestess when we could take off, like, 20% of Blue Baby's HP. Going to be a little tricky to dodge. We're getting kills I didn't even know I was qualifying for, though. There we go. Probably just a, a few of them left at this point. Turns out that uh, Guppy's Paw Pickup might have actually been the one that won us the game. Not because it turned us into Guppy, because we're not Guppy. Uh, but because it... Uh, because it uh, allowed us to get this permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is actually making it very difficult to... I don't want to say hit me, but... Very difficult to hit me fast enough to kill me before I can kill you, even though my damage is not that good. So our little brimstone play here is not very good. I gotta, I gotta have the patience to like get in front of Dry Baby, or get behind Dry Baby, and circling was probably doing the opposite effect for me there. 
Come on, dry baby. You're supposed to be my protection over here. Oh, he offers me protection. A lot of love and affection. Is that Robbie Williams? I don't know. He never really made that big of a splash over here in North America, except for Millennium and, of course, Rock DJ. Anyway, a good win there. I had a good time. I hope you did as well. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Remember, kids, don't drink coffee after you take cold medicine, and I'll see you next time. Where's the stop recording button?